think a lot of the locals have been complaining about these big grey walls. So it's nice, you know, they're perfect canvases for this sort of stuff. It used to be like lots of mechanics and it was more industrial, whereas now it's sort of turning into apartments and all of these big grey walls going up everywhere. So, but yeah, look, they're primo locations. Like some of them are great. These big smooth concrete walls that they just bring in and sit in, put in place, they're perfect for painting, very nice and smooth. So what we're seeing is basically the boundaries of every block and long term most of those walls won't be seen because every site is going to be redeveloped eventually and, and those walls will be the boundaries between two buildings which will be hard up against one another. This idea of a party wall and you build up to it is kind of like the suburban fence, you know, between two houses and you put planting in between it becomes a barrier between two separate buildings. I think there's all kinds of opportunities temporary opportunities for these walls. It's a great blank canvas to street art. That's cool. No, you don't need anything else on top of it. It works well. It's been all right, but then we've had a couple of days where it's been pretty heavy rain. And if you've got a whole lot of wet paint up on the wall and you get a big downpour, you're screwed. <laughs> sort of sets you back like half a day or a day. Just hard work, man. Yeah. Just just long days and in the wet. <laughs> it was wet yesterday. It's just the challenges of it. It's um, painting these big walls is very, it's a mental thing, but it's also very physical. All the locals walk past and yell out, it looks amazing or whatever, and people stop and have a chat. Yeah, it's cool. There's not too much of this large scale stuff in, in Canberra. So I think people are just generally, um, you know, wowed by the size of it. Ended up meeting Mr. Stavro, who's in here. This is his building. And he was super keen, he was, he was up for some artwork. It's a little bit different here because we've got nobody caught, but this is a privately owned development, and um, so, you know, we can call the shots uh, as we feel. We're always looking for something different, so that, something that's going to make your property uh, stand out from others, or your development to stand out from others. By getting this up, it just sort of gets people talking. We've also found that some of the businesses around here are actually a bit hesitant. Yeah, it's sort of interesting. And by doing this, it just sort of, I think we already knew that people would start going, oh, this is what it's all about. You know, they don't completely understand murals or, you know, until they see it. Just even in this strip down through here, you can tell by the different types of architecture that's been presented just in Lonsdale Street. These guys are thinking outside the square. They're not just boxes with glass on the outside of them. So I don't think it'll be a problem uh, convincing the, the rest of the people around here to, to do a similar sort of thing. You know, we've been here for 10 days painting it so they can actually see what work is involved in putting up a mural of this size. We've got a few ones on the other side of this building up here, which uh, I think it's almost the same, if not bigger. No, there's definitely more to come, which we're sort of getting excited about. This big wall has a, has a lot of this formed concrete, so it already has, you know, there's a lot of verticals and horizontals like already on the actual part on the building. We work with the building, not against it, you know. So all of my artwork's always very much collaborating with architecture. You know, every development's different. Uh, there's different constraints. Um, I don't think anything will happen here for a while on this. I think this, this particular work of art's going to be around and uh, be visible for quite a long time.